A complete timeline of the Orlando nightclub massacre. Death and gunfire tore apart a Florida LGBT nightclub over the weekend in the worst Islamic terror attack on U.S. soil since 9-11. At around 2.02 a.m. on Sunday morning, Omar Mateen engaged in a shootout with an officer outside the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida. Other officers later joined the gun battle. Mateen escaped inside and headed toward a restroom. Various reports say that between five and eight hostages were in the restroom where the 29-year-old fled. Up to 25 people were in the other restroom. At 2.28 a.m., Mateen reportedly pledged allegiance to the Islamic State while on the phone with a 911 dispatcher. He also mentioned a bomb vest and explosives. A SWAT team and armed vehicle arrived at the scene after officials deemed it necessary to begin a rescue operation. At around 5 a.m., police tried to breach one of the walls of the club with an explosive device, but this didn't destroy the wall completely. Officers then used an armored vehicle to smash a hole in the wall, allowing hostages to flee. Mateen was eventually killed following another exchange of gunfire with SWAT and police officers. Authorities say 50 people, including the gunman, were killed in the shooting, while 43 victims remain in hospital. The Orlando massacre is being called the worst act of violence against the American LGBT community on record, and also the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. The massacre has sparked renewed debate over how similar tragedies can be prevented in the future. Should there be more surveillance on suspected terrorists, more gun control, or perhaps both?